A lot of people ask, you know, if I have experienced a lot of discrimination, especially here in Owensboro, where I was born. I have experienced some discrimination here, and I'm open to talking about those experiences. People look at you and they think everything is normal and everything is fine, and to explain to people why there's certain things you can't do when you want to do them. Why would you let somebody in who's a pagan, or why would you let somebody who's an atheist come join your community? Why do they uh, wear the hijab? Um, you know, what's, what's the concept of jihad? What kind of witch are you? Are you a black witch, or a green witch, or a white witch? I'm not a color. I am a healer. Some people may not feel comfortable talking about these subjects in the open, but one-on-one -on -one they may feel more comfortable. It might bring them to be more open-minded towards these subjects. The Human Library is a community experience. Someone can walk in the door and check out what we would call a book but this book is a living person. If they are part of a community that has been marginalized or stigmatized or discriminated against, the people bring their experiences as part of that community to being a book. I'm participating because I'm a, a transgendered male. Um, I was born female. I'm the Unitarian Universalist minister in town. I am a minister at the Unitarian Universalist congregation of Owensboro, which is at the corner of Cedar and Parish. And I'm participating because I want people to see that even though I choose to live my life with a woman and share my life with a woman, that my life is exactly the same as everyone else. I'm participating because I am a pagan um, in the, under the folkways. Pagan is an umbrella title, just like Christian is an umbrella title. The reason something like the Human Library is important is you can read anything, but when you read it, you have a tendency to put your own voicing or your own self or create your own. This way you actually are carrying on a dialogue with somebody. You get to ask questions. It's not really promoting or swaying a brand of thought. We're not trying to convert anybody. Um, it's basically to uh, just understand, to have a conversation and learn a little bit about the people you share your community with um, and hopefully uh, gain a better understanding of who they are as people. These are questions you wouldn't necessarily be able to ask in normal society because they would be perceived as rude or just, you know, strange. But this is the setting. These people are expecting the strange questions, the, you know, almost personal questions because they want to help you understand them and understand their experience. This is an opportunity for you to ask your questions and to um, get the answers from so to speak, the horse's mouth. My name is Laura Farmer and I'm participating in the Human Library. My name is Heaven Davis and I'm participating in the Human Library. My name is Linda Craig and I'm participating in the Human Library. My name is Nahid Mortaza and I am very happy to participate here uh, in the Human Library. I'm Claudia Ramish and I'm participating in the Human Library. Hi, my name is James Reardon and I'm participating in the Human Library. 